Muscle building for women. Let's get right into it. Number one, no program or program hopping. You have to have some type of program. Without a target, you'll hit it every time. If you're just showing up to the gym, that's too random, it's not enough. Anything that you're going to be uh, effective in, you have to show up with a plan. Um, so you can't show up and not have a plan and expect to see results. That leads to program hopping. Many of us may start a program, do it for a week or two, and then we find something else online or in a magazine and we think that, oh, let me try that. That This one's probably going to be even better. The problem with that is it's going to take you at least four weeks to even determine if the program is going in the right direction and it's effective. Uh, usually with my coaching clients, we do everything in four week blocks at the end of four weeks. We will adjust and tweak if we need to. If everything's still going good, weights are improving, repetitions are going up, no need to change anything. So no program and program hopping are as number one. You have to have a program, you have to have a target. Number two, insufficient intensity. You're not lifting enough load to create a response. You have to at least increase the repetitions, but most importantly, you have to keep adding weight. You must give the muscle a reason to grow. If you're not exposing the muscle to increased load or increased repetitions, it's just not gonna grow. There's no reason for it to grow. So remember, insufficient intensity is number two and you have to lift a little bit heavier. I'm not saying everyone has to lift like the young lady in the picture up here. It took her four years to get up to deadlifting 308 pounds, four years. She started out just like everybody else, lifting the bar with maybe a 10 or a 25, but over four years, now she's putting in some work and lifting pretty significant weights. Her body weight, I believe, is at 135 pounds. So yes, she's pretty strong. But the point, the reason I show you that is you have to use progressive overload. You have to lift some weight. Number three, you have a fear of getting injured. And I get it. It's a valid concern because so many people get injured and then they fall off. They don't go back to the gym. But... You, the one thing you have to keep in mind is, yes, I'm telling you to lift heavier, to do more repetitions, but never at the expense of using perfect form. You can use the Smith machine at the gym, which is beautiful because you can get that barbell work in, but you can dump the weight and rack it in a safe manner where you can work out by yourself. So there's really no excuse for not using more of the uh, barbell heavy uh, exercises. If you work out at home, then a pair of adjustable dumbbells. No, you can't have a random five and eight, a 15 and 25. That's not gonna work. You need to be making progress incrementally. So I will use a adjustable dumbbell because that is what's going to allow you to progress. For women, I would say you really probably can get away with a, a, a adjustable dumbbell up to 50 pounds. Not necessary to get anything any heavier. I would imagine once you get up to a 50 pound dumbbell, you're probably gonna wanna go to the gym if you don't already work out at the gym because at that point, you're going to feel empowered enough that you can go to the gym and do things. So just keep that in mind. Injuries are part of it, but only if you use sloppy form, poor form. I get that more with the male clients because they just want to lift as much as they can. Many times they put form to the wind. Uh, don't do that. Even if you only add a pound, two pounds, two and a half pounds, incrementally keep pushing. You should not get hurt if you do that in a smart way. Not using a logbook. This goes back to not having a program. Even if you don't have a specific program or you made up your own program, which is certainly fine, you really should be using a logbook. 
just showing up to the gym without any direction and without any weights in mind that you've written down, there's just no way to show progress. You have to have a logbook. Maybe not forever, but a logbook is very helpful because it will create a roadmap for you. It'll allow you to know what's working, what's not working, when you need to switch exercises, because obviously you're not going to continue to add weight to the bar or increase dumbbells forever. You're going to get to a point where you'll be maxed out. So then maybe you need to add repetitions or it's time to change and do different exercises. A logbook, very important. Don't uh, discount using a logbook and who cares what you look like in the gym writing in your logbook. I do it all the time. It's not a problem. Number five, no consistency. Again, I use the example of the young lady deadlifting here. It took her over four years, but I'll let you in on a secret. She was consistent week in, week out, day in, day out, and over four years she was to progress. If you stop and start, stop and start, you delay the process and you just make it longer before you actually build any muscle. So consistency, obviously very important. Get to the gym, be consistent, exclude other things in your life that don't align with your fitness and your muscle building effort. You're gonna have to trim things so that they don't get in the way. That priority should be getting to the gym or getting in your basement, doing the work, being consistent. And I guarantee you, once you are consistent, you'll start to see the results will come quicker and quicker. But if you stop and start, stop and start, it just doesn't work. It, it, you're going to be spinning your wheels for quite some time. So just keep that in mind. Be consistent. Number six, pretty straightforward. See this video right here. Not enough protein. Unfortunately, women are afraid of protein when really they should be afraid of not eating enough protein. Eat your protein. It's the building blocks of muscle. You have to have your protein. Without it, there's nothing there to synthesize new tissue. So eat your protein. That's all I'm going to say on that. Like I said, you can see this video right here. Number seven, not getting enough sleep. Uh, we could do 15 videos on sleep, but the number one take home message for the uh, topic of sleep is we grow outside of the gym, outside of the workout. We grow when we're resting, but most importantly, we grow when we're sleeping, getting a good, deep, restful sleep. For some people, that's six hours. For others, it's eight, nine, even up to 10 hours. Whatever your number is, make sure you get your good, deep sleep because it will help you to grow that muscle much quicker. If you're not sleeping, it's like driving with the brakes on. You're gonna go for a little while, but at some point you're gonna to have to pull over and stop because your car is gonna be wrecked. And the same thing with your body. You can go without sleep for a long period of time, but at some point your body will get wrecked and you will have to pull over and stop working out until you get your energy and your resources in line. Thanks for watching.